All right. Only one presentation left after me, guys. We're almost done. Um, all right, so I want to know how many of you are drivers? We got some drivers in here? Okay. How many of you use mobile payment parking apps? Okay, so I'm going to refer to those as MPPs to save some time. So this is Park. Um, I wanted to disrupt the industry a bit. My name is Emily Cleary. I'm a user experience designer and a proud driver's license owner. I'm also a singer working on an album. I'm a sociologist and a content marketing manager. And I once argued with Steven Spielberg about giving him a discount on Jordan slides. I won. Um, this is the agenda here. So first I'm going to go over the client, the UX process, UI process, and then the next steps. So the client would be Miami Parking Authority and also Miami-Dade County because they're a part of Miami-Dade County. Did you know that Miami was the first city to implement mobile payment parking in the US? And males drive more often, but there are more female drivers. Just some fun facts, but there's actually a problem with that. Um, <laughs> several mobile payment parking apps exist, and there's multiple municipalities that should work together, but they don't. There's no easy way to enter license plate info into these apps. They're outdated, and there's no voice option in apps. We all like using voice on um, iPhone or Android. So my hypothesis, the Park iOS application will provide partnership opportunities between these municipalities um, to help speed up the process and modernize it. And I'll know that uh, this is true through increased customer acquisition, retention, positive reviews, and from the city of Miami to approve the app. I did a quick competitive analysis to see what's out there. I know we use um, Park Mobile, pay by phone mostly out here in Miami. Um, but I wanted to look at things that they don't uh, offer currently. So they don't offer too many payment options, um, spoken parking, and a camera option for your uh, vehicle. And I did 102, 162 surveys, excuse me, um, for my quantitative research. So 90% were aged 18 to 45, 70% use parking apps to pay for parking, not to look for parking, but to pay for it. But 50% say it takes them two to five minutes to complete the entire process, which is a bit of a long time since we're in this digital world, right, and we want everything to happen so quickly. This is some of my um, interview data, the qualitative data. So I actually uh, ran up on a Miami parking enforcement officer. He wasn't very nice. Um, I don't re represent the city, so I'm not going to answer philosophical questions, is what he told me. Um, so he was great. And then um, one of my top 10 least favorite things to do in the world is putting my credit card info into my phone. This is me getting really excited after doing all the research with my affinity map, um, going into offices downstairs that I probably shouldn't be in. Um, and then this is it, digitized. But basically, all that came down to this. Onboarding takes too long. MPP apps are convenient. People don't like downloading multiple. And most think they are outdated and can be modernized. So this is where I was able to then empathize with my target audience and come up with who that person would be. So we have Park and Pam over here. She's a millennial. She's in Miami. She's a real estate agent and a part-time student. She's actually doing really well um, as a real estate agent, but she's driving around all the time. You know, if you know any really real estate agents, they're always on the go. Um, she wishes that she could make the process quicker, um, you, you know, because actually in her user journey here, she is riding around everywhere and she actually got a new car. So she's going from a Prius to a Porsche Panamera and um, she had to update her her car, but it took too long and then she was late for her, her meeting. Um, so she was mad about that. And through that, all of the research that I did and coming up with that persona, modernization is my real MVP. And as we know, MVP is a minimum viable product in UX UI. Now we get into the UI, the interface. So these are some of my low fidelity concept sketches and some of the uh, testing feedback from that. So I tested five users. Um, the add vehicle button was in an odd place. And then 60% of testers asked if there was a, an up option to upload a photo or manually enter the license information. Um, and the main takeaways from the testing, I had to add verification actually for my main features. I didn't have any sort of verification process. Remove steps that were not in the happy path and then integrate the Siri option better. Some feedback from my mid-fidelity prototype usability testing. I tested nine users for this one. Um, the flow is simple and it made sense. You can see how I moved the add new vehicle button. And also 100% of users, uh, excuse me, testers liked the option to upload or manually enter the license info. 
This is my style tile. So basically, um, this is how I wanted my app to look and feel. Um, my brand attributes, simple, useful, modern, and that's what people gave to me as I tested them. Um, I like it. it's rectilinear. I had to look up the word rectilinear. Um, and just some other things that uh, we saw through that. Um, the style guide. So this is everything that I was able to boil my UI down to. This is uh, some of my atomic design is in here as well. And this is my hi-fi prototype. So I can go through this real quickly. All right, so this is my splash screen here. And that's on a timer. Okay, so you go in, it automatically locates you through GPS um, technology, and it confirm your, confirms your zone. But like I said, Pam is moving on up in the world. She's going from a Prius to a Porsche, and she needs to add her vehicle. So she's adding her vehicle, and she can actually just use her verification here, the face ID, and then she can take a picture of her license. So the app actually scans the license info, automatically um, uploads it, and then you can confirm the details or edit them using the edit buttons. But we're on the happy path, so everything is correct. Because SunPass is registered with your car, it detects it. And then in the future, I will have the option to edit that. So here's all the, um, the features for payment. You can scroll up and down. You can use Siri. She's going to use SunPass, pay and park. View her parking summary here. And that's the app. Um, these are some micro interactions that I created here. And a landing page as well for the parking app. I did some testing um, on the Hi-Fi. 50% of the users said that I should change the color of the icon and change Siri around also. Um, and then once I changed it, they love the option of having Siri. And now um, the app actually passed the squint test. People could read what I was putting on the app. Um, so my next steps, one is to build out some new features, a transfer payment, citation option, um, build out the unhappy pass, an additional happy pass, and then pitch the app to SunPass and Miami Parking Authority. So all in all, um, Park does provide innovation solution, innovative sol solutions to uh, parking apps. Um, it matched the user's mental model once I was able to boil everything down. Um, trust the process, don't rush the process, and I'm officially a UX designer. <laughs> Thank you. And this is my way to stay connected. My portfolio is on its way. This is me successfully getting a car stuck on the sand and unsuccessfully pushing it out. Thank you.